There's no room in this one. No, no, it's yeah. here. Oh, oh. Um, so the software is in it is slicer. Okay, so open. So first we load the image. To load the image, we have to either if uh, it is Diacom images, we go to Diacom here. We can load different kind of images also. There is NRRD images, mm -hmm. something like that. So we are now in Diacom. I'll okay. So so this is like front view. This is like top view. And this is like side view. Okay. The first thing we will see is like uh, the 3D view here. To go to the 3D view, we will go here on the volume rendering. And from volume rendering, we will select this image. So if we if we import three other images, it will be like here will be like three other images. Mm -hmm. Right now we just have 1.5. I will click on this and we will click on here. And this one will be right now somewhere there is a 3D volume, it's not in a center. We have to make it on the center. So this is here. We have the 3D image. So right now, we can change this contrast here by changing this. So we can change the contrast here. And other thing is like you can change the the way you want to see as well. OK. What? So this is like uh, if you want to see. Color? Yeah, no, color, no. Like if you want to go for the uh, hard images, it will be like this. If we want to for the bone, bone it will be like this. Just like changing how you want to see that. Okay. So this it will be like this. And if you want to rotate, it will be control and you can start rotating. Okay? Control and this. And let's say there is a way if you want to just uh, see this 3D view only, you can click here the layout and you can see okay, here you can see only 3D only. So it will give you 3D only, okay? And if you, let's say you want to go back to the for of the default view, you will go here and this is the range. Right now, only this is just the 3D view, not I haven't formed the image yet. The STL file is not formed. Now, let's say I just want to get this femur bone. Okay? I just want to give, get this femur bone. I don't want this pelvis bone. I don't want this all these muscles. I just want to get the 3D femur bone. So, what I will do, I will go here on the segment editor. I have to segment it. Segment, segment editor. Now let's say I want to segment it as a femur, and I want to. I need other se segment called others. Okay. If even if you just create the femur, that will be fine. Now let's work on the femur first. The first thing I will give is like the threshold value for this one is different different than this one, right? Sorry. So the pixel value, let's say, uh -huh. pixel value of this one is different than this one. So I will go by the threshold. If I click the threshold here, so while selecting on this threshold, the green is the selection. While I'm clicking on the on this threshold, it is selecting the muscle as well, uh -huh. right? So I will decrease the threshold. As I decrease it, it's eliminating the muscle, uh -huh. so like this, okay? So and other thing is like. They have the same intensity, right, or same pixel value. So that's why this is also selected. But for now, let's say I'm okay. So I'm getting a bit more than this. Let's say this is my segmentation. Then I will go for apply. So this apply. Okay, then I will go for apply. Then what happened? Okay, now I want to see this 3D view now. So whatever I have created here, I want to see it. Right now, this is just the 3D view, not the segmented view. To see the segmented view, I have to first uh, remove this. 
So to remove this, again I will go here on the volume rendering and I'll click here, so it's gone. Then I'll go again on, on the segment editor. So I want to see the 3D view, view. I will click on show 3D and it will take some time to do it. 3D of the just... Just the segment, yeah, just the segment. At 1.5 and 3, like, how do you select from the images? How do I select from the image? Uh, initially, when I did, I did it uh, from Python to check that. And other way is like from Dicom also you can check that. But uh, when you select the images, it automatically comes as a 1.5, right? Yeah, it automatically comes as 1.5, yeah. So this is only the segment thing, right? So let's say now I have to work on this because like all the threshold above the one I choose here is selected. Now I just want a femur. What do I do? I will use a, use a scissor here. So scissor, then there are different things like it is in, uh, it is outside or it is inside. Let's say I'm going right now. I will work on the 3D only. Uh, 3D only. Now, um, so let's say I want to first remove this part. Okay, this is not necessary. So everything inside this circle will remove. remove this. Why is the circle? Why is the circle? No, inside this, I mean, everything oh. inside this will be gone. So this is gone. This we do not need. This we do not need. Why oh, it's taking so much time? It's ridiculous. This is really slow. Yeah, why? This is this has high computing, you know. Then it's really sorry. And then let's see what we need. Okay. We don't need this part as well, right? Mm -hmm. And we don't okay, let's say we don't need the. Do you want to take only one femur or the both femur? Doesn't matter. If I want to uh, take only one femur, I will crop it initially. I didn't show you how we can crop it, but cropping is also easy. So I don't need all this part. So this cleaning thing you can do just by cutting it and something like this, right? So all these things I don't need it. Make sure that you do not drop the femur or the rest of the thing is fine. Yeah, undo it. We can undo it from here. We can undo it from here. But uh, we can also do it from segment by segment. It will take a time though. So so this scissor cannot give you perfect uh, like segmentation. It's like totally manual. So, I think a little bit of humor goes away. No, from here I can do it. Again. So let's say now I would go for the for up. So, so right now I have to work segment by segment. What does that mean? Uh, there is a way to see only this part. I don't know why this person doesn't support this. So I will work like this. So here in the femur. So I know. I know that from here the femur start. Okay. From here the femur start, right? Mm -hmm. So I have to delete this part. This is selecting it as a femur, but I have to remove it. So I will go on erase and remove all this in here. So 
So this is the removing part. You can do it. I will not repeat this process. So now I will show you. Uh, the next thing, important thing is like we have to, like if you see the femur here, uh -huh. see, it is not smooth, right? Yeah. It's like not smooth. Yeah. Here, you will eliminate and you will make more smoother by going from segment by segment by erasing all the things that is not necessary. I can erase this part. I can erase this part, right? Mm -hmm. You can, you will do one layer by this, one way, I mean, first, firstly by this, then secondly, you will have the smoothing option here. Let's go to smoothing mm -hmm. option. Then there are different options, medium smoothing, um, opening smoothing. This is like feeding holes if there is hole. But most of the time I use either the Gaussian smoothing or joint smoothing. Let's say I go for the joint smoothing. Why? Uh, I, I see, I, like based on my experiment, this and this smooths more better. So this is like joint smoothing. Like the number, the more greater this value is, the more smoothing it will give. But the problem of this getting, like going to the high smoothing parameter is like sometimes we need a curve here. And when it gets the smooth, it will even smooth that. So I will not choose that much. So let's say I am selecting 0 0.5 or something. Then I'm smoothing on the femur, then apply. So we don't need to select any type of areas? No. Oh, okay. I'm giving you a few. This is like basic thing I'm going on. Look, I said 15 minutes, but this computer is not supporting, it's not my fault. <laughs> After we can like get 3D model from any image. Any image. I even uh, like went to the forum or I Google it. Even let's say you take the cross section of this image in JPEG image and you import it here, it can give the 3D model. Also. Not only the I diagram, even PNG, JPEG is supported. What are the recommended number of pictures? I don't know. Okay, so a little bit of smoothing is done, if you can see. I think I can, I can see, but see if you can see as well. Like, you see, a little bit of smoothing is done then earlier, right? And these are the things we need to remove, but you can see the more smoother. If let, let, Let's undo it, then you can see the difference. So you, you are, we are here right now. So this is undo, unsmooth, and this is smooth now. But you have to fix this part, going by layer by layer, as I say, right? So you have to, yeah, it will take time. That's why it is taking time. Then the next thing is you have to export the model in uh, in format, different format, right? Yeah. The next uh, thing to export is you have to go here on the segmentation. Then you, what do you want to export? You want to export FEMA, right? Mm -hmm. Then you will click here on the export. You want to export the model. Level map means just it will just give you the uh, these images. Label map would mean it will just give, give you the segmented image. I mean those with different. marks, with marks. Label map, map will just give you max. We need three D model as well. So I'll click on model here. Then I'll click down here on export to new firma, new mode folder. That is okay. Then I'll click here on the ops or export. Mm -hmm. Okay. Once I click on export here, I will go here on the save. Here on the save, I can either choose this bundle here. So choosing this bundle will save everything at once. Mm -hmm. And it will save it as a this slicer format. Or I can do it separately. Let's say for this femur, I just want to save the femur. Okay. Right now it is in VTK format. Uh, VTK is a visual toolkit format. I don't know how to work or how to explain these things. 
but I want STL format oh, here. Okay. I'll click on STL. Mm -hmm. Then I have to change the directory where I want to save. Change the directory. Then here, let's say I want to. to the destination of the download. Yeah. I'll, let's say on the data, I want to do it. Then, to, okay. Let's I'm go here on the data. Then uh, let's go to that. Oh, there are other guys. Somewhere. Maybe desktop. here is okay. Run. Where? Seven desktop. No, I think here yeah, is the uh, main folder. There is something. There is no. Okay, I'll just use on my computer. I don't know. I can do it or not. D. Okay, means I put there is only one uh, folder. Then I'll choose. <laughs> then save it. Uh, save it. Then it's saved. Now you can see the theme on here. Um, D. I told. Pima, this one. Okay. So I think we can view that on uh, this one. This one. What are we three D print? Yeah. But I will not recommend I will not recommend directly importing on any computational software. First do the processing, then go to the step file, then only we'll go to the cat file. From the step file STL file, I'll go first to the CAD file. CAD file means, uh, I, don't, I don't know if STL is CAD file or not, but I will either convert that into IGS file or the step file. Then from step file, I'll do computational analysis. Like what you use for converting uh, There are many, but I'm using ANSYS space claim. So this is the female now. Yes, yeah. If we directly import it, no, there should be some like, uh, problem with the orientation. Right? Okay. 